Well, the action continues here at Best of the West Year 6. Let's send it to our ring announcer, Davey Dangerously. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming at this time, joining AJ Kirsch at the commentary table. Oh, man. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kyle Newport. Happy anniversary! Sounds good. These ones? These ones? I'll be over there soon. Will you? Does that mean you leave here? No, I, I can't leave you. I can never leave you. I will never leave you. Shoot me. Let's send it to our ring announcer, Davey Dangerously. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Official in charge of this contest, referee Luis. Can we just make this as painless as possible, please? Why not? It's always painless. <sighs> Ripping off a band-aid. Introducing this. Well, the mask mandate is in full effect with... Uh, yeah, taking it very geez. seriously. Taking it very seriously. Wow. Does not look happy. No, quite the opposite, actually. Looks like how I look when you come out here. Two years! Two years since Draxon has stepped into this barren wasteland. Tracks. Two years ago, before the virus hit, Draxon was around for every fight night. Now, it's sorry, Draxon, we don't have anything for you. Sorry, Draxon, we don't have anything for you. Yes, you shut up! We don't! <laughs> shut up, Normie! Normie? Normie? Say that again! What does that mean? I don't know. Is it like grossies? Troglodytes, perhaps? It's a big word for you, I know. too much. It's a lot of syllables. Too much. Give you 20 bucks if you can spell it. X. is different. Tonight, Draxon is issuing an open challenge. And this is for anyone. Put your mask back on. In the back. If you think you have what it takes to take on a true wastelander, come on. Wow, well, yes. he's nothing if not fired up. Atta boy, it's been two years. Two I mean, years. he's got it all built up. Yeah. Oh, boy. what he's having. He's yeah, all sure. kinds of fired up. That's at least three Mountain Dews. Yeah. Holy smokes. He is firing his tank, too. Yeah. Well, it should make for a, one hell of a competitive matchup. You've got two competitors, very young in their careers, who are, uh, yeah, I mean, just... Raring to go. Raring to go. Chomping at the bit here. Bell has sounded. It's a bell, by the way, not an alarm. Don't, you know what it's called. It's a bell. 
Now there might be a lot of rust on Draxon from uh, taking those two years off. Not on his, not by his own choice. No, uh, we'll, definitely so we'll not. See. Ooh. Draxon and Wild Louis Carlin. Similar build, similar size. Similar experience as well. Yeah. Wow. Oh, right. That was. Yeah, Wild Lou with. Oh, oh no. Smack to the back of the head, and Louis Carlin rolling through quickly and reversing into a wrist lock of his own. I love the uh, Dr. Seuss hair on Wild Lou's wristbands. Dr. Seuss hair. It's gotta be, it's green. Oh, oh, speaking of hair. Yeah, pull of the hair sends Wild Louis Carlin down to the canvas. Oh. Field goal is good. Jackson now. Stomping away at the guts of Wild Louis Carlin and now jaw jacking with that fan who was giving him a hard time earlier. Big clubs. Off the ropes goes Louis Carlin, ducks the clothesline off the other side now. Drop kick oh. to the knee, takes out the vertical base of Draxon wow. and then eats a drop kick right to the sternum. Oh boy, careful Wild Lou, rookie move. Wow, oh! Good. Well, tumbling Dual into the fans butt. here. Sheesh. Should have kept the mask on if you headbutt him. Well, see, that's a foreign object, that would be illegal. He would cover one, two, beating his chest oh. and then interrupting the count to actually beat the crap out of Wild Louie Carlin. I guess, whatever works. Well, I mean, he could have wow. beat him right there, but I guess at this point it might be less about the victory and more about beating him up, too. And another kick out at two. Fans now behind Wild Lou. Wow, big suplex by Draxon. Draxon in control right now, and you know he's just been festering and stewing for those two years. He couldn't compete, couldn't do what he loved, and I don't mean that from a competitive standpoint. I mean that from a legally beat the crap out of somebody standpoint. Yeah, there you go. He's letting it all out now. Oh. Nobody home there. Kick to the midsection. Both wrestlers getting support from the fans. I don't know who to pick. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why Jackson's getting support here. I know. Called everyone normies. Wow. Second rope sunset flip. Puts the pressure on the legs and a kick out at two. Louis with some clubbing forearms, or at least one, to the back. Sets him up perhaps for a suplex here. You can see he's blocking nope. it though. He had that scouted very well. All he's had to do had to do is uh time to watch video and tape and he wasn't wrestling. Oh look at this. <laughs> Vicious digging the knee into the scapula or maybe the spine. One, two, and there's a left shoulder up and a count of two. Not enough. That would look it looked sweet from Jackson. Watch out. Effective. Ah. Oh my god, a knee. And just keeping it on there as well. There's another cover. Two. Another kick Almost. Out two. Wearing down Wild Lou over there. Wow. Right hand to Louis Carlin. Oof. You hear the thud of that strike. Corner to corner. Wow. Oh. Caught him with the knee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh! They both, both got each other. Both competitors down after a huge double clothesline, and the referee begins his count. Two. Three. Both men squirming around. I think they're going to make it. Jackson trying to wow. use the ropes to pull himself up. Wild Louis Carlin, though, with his eyes on his opponent. Flying clothesline connecting. Back wow. elbow, and down goes Jackson for a second time. Look out. Oh. Billy to back suplex. 
Beautiful. Wild Lou, this might be it. One, two. Not right shoulder up at two. It's one hell of a hard fought contest. They're going here. at it. They are. I mean, they showed up, fired up, and they're leaving everything they've got in the center of the ring. Wild Lou says this is it. We're, uh, I think you're going to the wrong corner, Wild Lou. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, oh, nope. Jackson got the knees up. Saw Wild Louie Carlin coming with that splash. Took too much time over there, Wild Lou. Shake it off, shake it off. Crowd telling him to shake it off. Easier said than done. Oh. Good morning. Oh, what in the world? Did you see I, that spike, DDT? That's got to be it. He That's got to be it. Holy. He is, wow. Jackson. Draxon making a statement here after two years of festering in isolation has arrived, re-arrived. Draxon's back at Best of the West. Drax is back. That sounded better. Drax is back. Yes. And it spelled a hard night for Wild Lou Carlin. I'm interested in this next one. I'm going to stay and watch. Okay. I'll let someone else do that. Okay, well, Kyle Newport said he is interested in this next contest for some reason. He is going to stay and watch. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming at this time. She is the visionary of the best of the West women's division. Give it up for Lady K. The self-proclaimed visionary of the women's division, Katarina Lee, making her way ringside. And with her is that gorgeous Best of the West Women's Championship. Joining me at ringside for commentary, the self-proclaimed visionary of the women's division, Katarina Lee, thank you so much for joining us. And that's quite the bombshell you just dropped. The winner of this contest will vie for the best of the West women's championship in June. Indeed. Well, the landscape of Best of the West continues to take shape here tonight. We've seen Fresno debuts. We've seen fresh entrance music from more than a couple competitors. But the winner of this contest has a huge night to look forward to as they will be one of the number one contenders for the new Best of the West Women's Championship, which looks amazing, by the way. Thank you very much. I designed it myself. I am not surprised. Oh, 
And for some reason, Al, uh, AGB, for some reason, they both annoy me, which is why I confuse them. For, for some reason, Kyle Newport is interested in this match. Do you have any idea why? Has I, he spoken to you about this at all? I don't it's know. a secret. I think he wants the ladies to notice his snazzy suit. Yeah, that must be it. It's a good way to end up on a list somewhere. Danica Bloodwin already the what a drag champion. She's a dangerous lady. Again. She looks like it. It's a rocky road to the best of the West Women's Championship here tonight. Well, these two are not afraid to lay it all on the line. Two very vicious, exacting relentless competitors. That's why I chose them. This is going to be one hell of a match. Yes, it is. One of these two are going to have to damn near kill the other one to move on to vie for the Women's Championship in June in Merced. Tickets, by the way, are on sale for that event right now. Saturday, June the 18th in Merced. On that night, we will crown the first ever Best of the West Women's Champion, and it will be, it could, it will feature, that match will feature one of these two women, and Danica wasn't waiting for the oys or anything else. She is bringing the fight to Christina Von Erie. This is what I like about her. She just goes straight in. She is not waiting for anything. She's already, as you mentioned, a champion in another place, and right. I, I feel that she could pick this one up too. She's a champion at what a drag as Kyle Newport I mean, continuing to pace back and forth here for reasons that he refuses to give up. I'm sure there's a good one, or maybe there's a bad one. I don't know. Whoa! Christina Von Eri taken down Danica Bloodwin. That's not a small feat. No, it is not. She is not a small woman. One, two, and left shoulder up immediately after two. But if anything, the reason why you know I've matched up these ladies is because they have equal fight in them. Oh, big boot to the face. Yeah, I wouldn't hard. want to be on the receiving end of that one. Already a hard-hitting matchup, as we had a feeling it would be. It's the crowd, I think, behind. Oh. The crowd, I think, behind Christina from the Erie. And they are definitely they're enjoying this, this style. Absolutely. Only for one more of these uh, vicious stumps to the face. And she got it. A face wash to Danica Bloodwin and Christina Von Eri in control for the time being. He has a face wash, but no soap involved. None whatsoever. To make that perfectly clear. Oh, do you think she can lift her? I think she's going for some kind of a suplex. I'm not sure that I she think can. Danica's not having it. Just like that, the tide has turned. What a pity, what a pity. <laughs> That was the visionary of the women's division, yes. Katarina. Do you have a preference between one of these two advancing to the first ever women's championship match? Well, I mean, I'm incredibly flattered that Danica Bloodwin has decided to uh, match my look for this evening in the red and black. And I, I am prone to flattery, so I'm going to put my money on her for I now. I see, I see, okay. Also, I have a penchant for vampires, which I believe that she is one of. Is she a vampire? I think so. I'm trying to get a good look at her teeth. I can't quite tell, but like a shark that smells blood, she is going after Christina Von Erie, who just eats a forearm from Danica. I think that, you know, Christina Von Erie obviously has a deserved reputation as being, you know, hard as nails. Of course. Um, I think Not to mention a veteran in this business. Danica, very young in her career. Right. And I think, you know, uh, Christina Von Erie might be grateful that I have matched someone oh. up with her who is equally as vicious. Beautiful roundhouse kick oh. catch, catching Danica once, but misses twice. And with a handful of hair, Danica Bloodwin right back in control. I think that maybe Christina Van Eri thought that... Sorry, there's a cover, one, two, two, and a kick out at two. Well, that maybe Christina Van Eri thought that uh, Danica would be more cumbersome, um, but she's proven herself to be quite light on her feet and quick to duck. Danica in pursuit 
of the patron saint of filth, Christina Von Erie. She's trying to answer with some forearms here. I mean, all of these headbutts oh. would be hard to take for, for anyone else but these two women in the ring right here. Oh my God, you can hear the, the grunts, the, just the evil intentions from Danica Bloodwin. Uh-oh, she's saying goodbye. She said something else. I'm not sure we're at liberty to repeat. There's a vicious body slam with authority. There's two and a kick out at two. Yeah, but she needed a bit of a better pin than that one. She didn't really put all of her weight on her. If she had, we might have seen a different outcome right then. Christina Von Erie taking down Danica Bloodwin, who wisely rolls to her stomach before she even hit the ground. Christina getting a little frustrated, I think. Which, you know, I understand. Sure. <laughs> Danica now jaw jacking with the crowd. Yeah, this might not be the best time in the match to be distracted by the crowd. I would agree. Christina Von Erie, a dangerous threat at any time. Oh, ouch. I felt yeah. that. Oh, God. Sickening thuds with those kicks. Danica, though, catching this one and taking the wheels out from underneath Christina Von Erie. Danica up first. Oh, another cover. Was she be able to? Nope. I think the Danica needs to bring out some of the big guns. Move-wise. Has oh, she not she brought out the big guns yet? There's a double leg drop. She heard One, me. Two. And right shoulder up at a count of two. And Christina Von Erie, pain strewn across her face, needs to be thinking about something she could do to turn the tables. She has. I agree with you. She has brought out some big guns. I just think there should be more. Okay. That's fair. A fair note. CBE oh. on top here. Oh. Power bomb. That's what I'm talking about. She heard me, AJ. I think I'm, I'm like a telepathic kind of. Well, was, I'm sorry to cut you off, but was that a power bomb or yes. a face buster? Because Danica oh. Bloodwin is also down for the oh. count. Oh. Christina Von Erie may have planted Danica face first with a face buster. <laughs> that is indeed a possibility. Oh, yeah. It's both, both going well. I think that's what happened. Yes, Christina up first. Up first and going after Danica with everything she's got. Oh, oh, that's not a small feat. It's no easy Danica. task to get Danica down. Trying to find a footing here. Dragging herself up in the corner. We'll see if she needs to get out of that corner. Oh, she manages to go under, but... Christina Von Erie looking to fly here. Crossbody takes down oh. Danica. She couldn't keep the cover, though. CVE no. could not keep the cover. Danica seizing the moment. A headbutt to Christina Von Erie. We've seen a lot of these headbutts here tonight. That's got to take a toll on the body after a little while. We have, but here at year six, this is the biggest show in Best of the West history. This is the time to let it all hang out. I mean, the women's championship title contender match is on the line. Kyle Newport saying, be careful. Chop to the chest. He's got her up there for something. I think somebody's going to take Danica, take advantage of the gravity. Danica definitely wants to take CBE for a ride. CBE not letting it happen. She's up top. Oh, she's ready. Sizing her up for something. She's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna jump. No. Nope. No, she's not. She's gonna feed her boot to Danica Bloodwin. Straight jacket, lung oh. blower. One, two, and three. Christina Von Erie is one of your number one contenders. Wow. Wow. Christina Von Erie, one victory away from making history. The crowd is delighted. I have to say, I'm a, I'm a little surprised that she was able to withstand that 
formidable force that is Danica Bloodwin. Danica has proven herself to be a very powerful force inside that ring. But tonight, toughness won out. The patron saint of filth could be the first ever Best of the West women's champion. And now Kyle Newport with a panderous applause and a mic in his hand. That was pretty impressive. Newport. Ow. I am pretty confident that was a no, which is something I'm sure Kyle Newport hears time and time and time again. I mean, I don't understand why. I mean, that was an opportunity of a lifetime, potentially, but I mean, the, the audience agreed with you, AJ, so I don't know. I'm sure Christina Von Erie will be doing just fine without the services of Kyle Newport, who is throwing a tantrum at ringside, and I kind of love it. Christina Von Erie, one of your number one contenders for the Best of the West Women's Championship. That match will happen in Merced, California on Saturday, June the 18th.